Make a shift, live your life and be happy. Welcome to my health and happiness tip this week. I want to talk about how to control emotional stress in the marriage or partnership and at the workplace. So how do you notice that you are having emotional stress? You're overreacting in conversations, your focus strays off. Uh, it's like you or the other one that you're talking to, they're talking like a broken record. It's the same over and over again. Um, you think about past and you refer to the past and say things like, oh, I could never talk to you. You always did this. And um, very often it doesn't make sense what we talk about because we actually are off the the content of the conversation itself. When this goes further, we build up more and more stress. This can come uh, to anxiety, to panic attacks, so that you have early morning awakenings, and like at four o'clock, and then your mind is spinning around and goes in circles. The concentration goes down, and the brain can't stop to think about those things anymore. So what happened? File. Your brain pulled a file in those conversations with all the emotional garbage in it. What does that mean? Um, you have saved an information, a certain information and a certain emotion. Let's say you talk to your husband and you have saved uh, frustration in that file. So whenever this kind of conversation comes up, you pull that file and if it's longer than two minutes, it's not just about the information and the content itself, you also access your frustration. And then after those two minutes, you only talk about, you only talk from this file to the other one and they probably do the same. They have a certain file where they have saved certain content about what, how they feel about you. Let's say your husband feels anger, yeah? So after two minutes of talking, not just the information comes out of his mouth, it's also the emotional anger part. And then one file talks to the other. What happens is that you lose the connection to each other and the conversation doesn't go anywhere. The same can happen, of course, in the workplace and with, other, with every other relationship. And what do we do here? I call it file therapy, based on the brain research. So the first thing is that you are aware that you pulled a file. The next thing is that you close this file within the first two minutes because otherwise it goes into autopilot and then it's unstoppable and it pulls more and more garbage. You can notice that when you stray off more and more, when you're starting to arguing with, with each other and when the arguments doesn't, don't have anything to do with the actual situation, when they refer to the past or to sentences like always, never and so on. And what you do next is you close that file immediately, either by saying a certain word or by uh, making a physical action that helps sometimes to go out of the room, go to the bathroom and come back. Or some people just say, file, reset, um, and stop it immediately. What you can also do is that you build enough positive files already. When you know that, that you have a problem with a certain person, there's a block in the conversation, that you build positive files so that you can use them while this conversation happens. You diagnose the file, you close it, and you open up a better one, a new one. For example, with, uh, let's say, an employee and a boss have arguments with each other, that the boss says, oh, that was my old file about this employee. I now want to see the full potential of this employee. So that's my new one. So I hope that helps. Our nervous system needs a little bit training in that because it usually takes 21 days. So there's more. In private sessions, I give you more that helps you 
to identify your own files better and I also give you more techniques tailored to your individual needs. Thank you for listening. Bye.